What's up guys? Hope you like the Probo there. Today I'm going to be going through some of the features of the Lightning Sykes and how to use the controls. So just starting off with the uh, general idea for the build. It comes from the Zoids cartoon, obviously, and then for the model there's a bunch of pictures of this uh, high-end master model kit that I was using to get all the angles to build off of. And overall, uh, really happy with the look given the kind of the way that you have to build around the limits of, of Space Engineers and the fact that it took uh, almost two years of off and on building just to get the, all the construction done and all the features in there. So looking at the outside really quick starting with the head uh, we've got projected eyes up here the whole head is on a rotor so it moves and then the mouth too uh, will also move then going through the body uh, using a lot of these blast doors as uh, details because I like how they they kind of look like fins and then uh, we've got the turret here it's fully functional it spins around using the uh, mouse aim rotor turret squip and it's also supported by a piston because it is enormous um, there's also a recoil action on the guns when they're fired the tail back here is made out of hinges, uh, a bunch of connections, and that moves as well. And then we've got the legs, which have, uh, you can either do walking or running with them. And they are piston supported at the top on both sets, and then also at the bottom here near the feet. So to enter, uh, there's a button on each foot on the inside right here. And that's just going to bring down a ramp right in the belly. So this ramp comes down, you can hop on, hit the button again, and that brings you up here. Little room, uh, and all there is is the cockpit right here. So jumping in, you can see the controls. We've got the body controls on the left side, and the turret controls on the right side. So starting off, pressing 1 is going to activate uh, the claws in the front are going to kind of splay apart and then the tail's going to raise, the head's going to raise and it'll take a little step forward get into that ready stance. Uh, at this point you can hit number two it'll start walking and we'll just walk uh, right off the platform here A little bit of sparks just from like metal on metal contact, but that'll go away once we're on the voxel. And so with walking, um, just to highlight, button number seven is to turn on a gyro in the turret. You can see it wobbles around a little bit. Um, if you wanted to smooth that out, you can press seven. Uh, the only reason you wouldn't really do that is if you're turning, um, turning is accomplished just by holding A or D. So if I hold D, I'll turn. But you can see the turret is now kind of locked in that orientation. So if we turn off 7, then it will reset itself back to center. But 7 is uh, very useful when aiming as well. So we have those, and then if you press 2 again, that will stop the walk sequence. Uh, there is a reverse function. Um, I put it on page 3 just because there's the possibility to mess up the walk cycle if you press it. Um, the only time you should ever press reverse is if uh, the build is like this. It's activated, but it's not moving. Um, so if you press 3, the legs are going to switch position. And then if you go back to the first page and press walk, it'll start to walk backwards a bit. And so then you can press uh, 2 to stop the walk cycle again. And it's not super great at walking in reverse, but it's nice to have the ability. And then we'll go back to page 3 and put it back to its normal walk cycle. So the reason that you have to press that when it's not moving is because it will basically mess up. Because there's a whole bunch of extra little functions happening for the walking. Um, and you can't just reverse in the middle of it. So moving on, uh, 
button three is going to be the turret control. So we hit the control and then the mouse can move the turret around. Uh, we have button one to fire the guns and that will automatically do the recoil and reloading. And then you have two for aiming. And then once again, we can hit that gyro uh, button seven and that kind of stabilizes the aiming for us. Button three is uh, some fins for the turret. So they kind of go out on the outside, just like the model has. And then four is going to be to raise some more fins in the back. Button five is to raise the entire turret up a little bit to make it a little bit easier to aim. You can get a much better angle up and down when it's in this uh, raised position. You just have to move the mouse a little bit, otherwise it will. Um, it doesn't automatically center itself. So then getting out of the turret controls, uh, we have button four, which is the run mode. So this activates a series of timers and it changes a bunch of the piston uh, displacements and velocity settings to make it go from walking to running. So we hit four, um, it kind of, I guess, clenches itself up and then all those, um, all those values start to change and now we're in run mode. So it goes on average about 10 to 12 uh, meters per second. We've got those boosters going in the back. And the turret is locked right now because all of its propulsion is coming from those boosters. So you can't use the turret um, except to fire straight ahead while you're running. But once again, turning is just using A and D. Um, that is moving some, or it's turning some gyros on and off. You can see it can turn around actually pretty quick here. And then when you want to stop running, then you just hit four again, and it's going to bring the legs together, kind of skid to a stop, and then the legs will reposition themselves back to their original position. Button eight is just gonna be a roar up here at the head. Very fun. And then button nine is gonna put it back into its uh, deactivated mode. So the head will go down, the tail will go down, and it will just lean back into there. So then to get out, you just exit, hit the button again, the lift will come down, you got a little spotlight to illuminate the area, and then you can hit the lift and that puts itself away. So that's it for the Lightning Sykes. Um, I had fun making it and I hope you guys enjoy it and I will catch you on the next one.